Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm officially on my very first, oh wait, no, second day of vacation now. I have the next 10 days off, as I mentioned on the prior video. So what that means is I have nothing to do but a whole bunch to do at the same time over the next 10 days. But first, I wanted to talk to you all about something and get your opinion on a few things. And I'll tell you what those things are in just a minute. So the thing I wanted to talk to you about is my vacation, which is kind of not happening anymore. So we planned this whole grand trip up to upstate New York. We're gonna stay at this super elaborate Mohawk mountain house, which I'll link a picture up here. Many of you have probably already seen it on social media. It's absolutely beautiful. The only problem is it's super expensive. So with that being said, we are basically going to book for a few days, just go upstate, relax, turn all phones off, turn all camera, turn all laptop, Wi-Fi, everything off, and just kind of experience nature because that whole reserve over there is beautiful. We're going to mountain bike, we're going to hike, and then we cancel. So you may ask yourself, why did you cancel your vacation when you were so excited to go on it in the first place? And the answer is, if you looked at the weather, you would know. So back to vacation. So it's supposed to rain literally the three days we were supposed to go all the way to upstate New York. So we basically had a discussion, is it worth spending a whole bunch of money just to sit inside a ritzy hotel room and not even be able to explore any of the stuff upstate has to offer, which is the whole reason we were going up there in the first place. And we eventually just decided that it wasn't worth it. So canceled the trip. So Andriana, being the workaholic she is, actually chose to go back to work on her week off instead of take vacation with me. So essentially, I'm here just roaming around New York City for 10 days on a prolonged staycation, which basically means I can catch up on every single thing I've been putting off for the past like year of my life pretty much. So let's start with making a whole bunch of videos. I have no idea why this tractor is at the Guggenheim Museum, but this tire is as tall as I am. Hold on. Look at this. I'm 6'4". This tire is literally much taller than me, I think. Look, hold on. So now let's talk about the next thing I wanted to talk to you all about, which is I want to know your opinion on if me and my brothers should start a podcast. Now I know what you're thinking. Everybody's starting a podcast right now. Why do you want to just follow the pack and do your own podcast? But the real reason is I think we can offer something unique, which is why everybody starts a podcast to begin with. So for those of you who don't know, my older brother is a neurology slash neurosurgery veterinarian and my younger brother is also a radiology resident he is in his third year of residency so he's two years behind me so we have three doctors in the family so my brother came up with a good plan that why don't we just start a podcast we have a unique outlook on things we have two brothers in human medicine one brother in animal medicine so with our powers combined we could probably come up with something entertaining right so i don't know we are in the talks about doing it my both of my brothers live in chicago i live in new york city obviously so i don't know how the logistics would work out maybe we could bank a whole bunch of podcasts or whatnot but let me know in the comments below what you think should we do a podcast together and what should we talk about
So the next thing I wanted to talk to you all about is something I already mentioned before, and that is what the heck I'm going to do with all this footage from our live case conference I did one or two weeks ago now. So when I say stock footage, basically what I mean by that is during the procedures, which I did two procedures that day and kind of filmed them, broadcasted them to the world, I had a camera set up in the corner in which I kind of recorded like the whole process of me prepping the patient, getting access, doing the case, and all that kind of stuff. But then I realized I was trying to do this whole like behind the scenes style video and I never actually finished the video. So it kind of just cuts off after the second procedure of the day because I had to do inpatients at the end of that whole live case symposium and I never got around to kind of finishing the video. So it's just kind of stuck in its raw form. I have a whole bunch of footage in the corner of the procedure room. A beginning I have when I'm doing like some of the behind the scenes stuff, but then there's no ending. So I'm thinking about just posting like a 30 minute video of just purely the whole procedure and just kind of like a behind the scenes look at what we do without any commentary whatsoever. And I'll probably speed up some frames and whatnot, but let me know in the comments below if you think that'd be something you'd be interested in. I'll probably get like 10 views on it, but what can you do? I don't know what else to do with the footage. We are This is Lenox Hill Hospital. That is the hospital I did my intern year at. That is the hospital I've also done two videos on now. I have a lot of fond memories of this hospital. I feel like this is the hospital where I actually became a doctor. It's where I pretty much learned everything, learned how to operate, learned how to take care of patients, and also met my wife. So I never told you my favorite thing about living here, and that is because the hospital is right there, and my old apartment is like right here. So I literally used to just wake up at like 5.30, walk across the street, and I was at the hospital. It was the best thing ever. Here's my old apartment. This little six story or seven story elevator building. Loved it. All right, so I am going to officially end the vlog here. I want you all to respond to all those questions I asked you. I wanna know if I should do a podcast with my brothers. I wanna know what you all think I should do with the footage. I wanna know what videos you want me to make during this vacation or staycation where I'm just sitting around doing nothing. And that's pretty much it. So as always, make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Leave a comment below. If I liked it, I'll respond to it. Follow me on TikTok. Otherwise, see you all on the next video. Thank you.